Hi, how are you doing? For today's session, we're going to start using Sprite Lab. Sprite Lab is a part of code.org where you're going to add your characters or sprites. Let those characters jump, dance, play. By the end of today's session, you will be able to create a scene as we're having here. When we click run, the crab will move. When he touches the fish, it will start spinning. Okay. And we're having another project here. When we click run, okay, the aliens will start moving everywhere. For now, you will be watching a video giving you more information about Sprite Lab, and I will be back. My name is Leslie Torres, and I am a computer science student. What I like about computer science is that it helps me develop my creativity, and it also teaches me problem-solving skills. This is Sprite Lab, a place where you can build imaginative and fun apps and other useful programs. This is a sprite. A sprite is something you can interact with, like a character in a game, or an object in a scene. With Sprite Lab, you can change different aspects of a sprite, like its costume, location, and color. You can also change how a sprite behaves on the screen. Sprites can also interact with you or each other. You can create a dance party, a virtual pet, or an entire world of creatures that do whatever you tell them to. Now you can spend some time exploring Sprite Lab and see where your imagination leads you. It's time to dig into some fun features of Sprite Lab. The first thing to do is to set up a sprite. To add a sprite, you can use the Make a New Sprite block. This block lets you give your sprite a costume and a location. If you want to change the sprite's location, you can click the pin in the location block and then click where you want it to go. You can change the size of your sprites too. To make a sprite smaller, you can use the set size block and then type in a number that is less than 100. If you have two or more sprites with the same costume, this will change all of them at once. Now let's get the sprite moving by using a behavior. You can start by giving the sprite the spinning right behavior. Once the behavior begins, it will run over and over again forever or until you tell it to stop. And that's all there is to it. Now it is your turn. After signing in to code.org, we're going to create a Sprite Lab project from here, create. Click the drop down menu. Sprite Lab will be the first choice. Now we're having an M Sprite Lab project. We need to rename the project. You're going to rename the project with your name. Okay. I'm going to name it with my name. Slash under water. Okay, then click save. Here we have our workspace and here we're having the blocks and the blocks are divided into categories. On, uh, under each category we're having different items. The first one will be the world, okay, for the background, changing the colors and so on. Here we have everything relates to sprites. Here we have location to place our sprites here we have actions could be done by the sprites events and we're gonna know what are the meaning of event 
behavior the behavior of the sprite here we have loops we already talk loops here we have variables math functions and so on first of all we need to change the background okay From blocks, we're going to select the first one, world. We're having two options for the background, set background color and set background to setting. Set background color will change the color of the background. Set background to will add an image to the background. Okay, we need to add on an edge to the ground make sure to place your block before sprites we need to keep a certain arrangement we need the background first then the setting of the sprites so set background to from the drop down menu we can change the scene of the background to be underwater now we're having a scene representing underwater okay now we're gonna set our sprites by select make a new sprite add from sprites we already have one here we need to change the bunny to a fish so from the drop down menu you can search for a fish okay more from here animals you're gonna find different types of fish we need this one okay okay we're having it here if you need to change the location of the sprite by default it will be at 200x and 200y 200 and 200 representing the X axis and the Y axis The first one at X and the second one as Y if we need to change it click here Okay, move your sprite to the needed location Okay, we're gonna Place it here Okay, so now the X the X value as 293 and the y value as 80 now we're going to add another sprite again make new sprite we're going to change it to a uh, crab okay we need to change the location from here again and drag your crab to be here 
we need to add more sprites to our scene so from sprites okay drag make new and add a pink fish we're going to change hair location to be here and I need a fourth sprite from here more animal I need a select the silver fish okay change its location to be here now we need to minimize the size of the silver fish so from actions select change set size to place it here after the silver fish select the silver fish and choose any number less than 100 okay if we added a number greater than 100 make it 120 the size will be bigger if we selected any number less than 100 such as 80 okay this one is nice and I need to change the direction of the brown fish so from actions again change the select face right place it here and select the brown fish change it from the right to the left okay. Now we change the direction of the brown fish to be to the left. Now we're going to add a behavior or a starting behavior for each sprite. As for the brown fish from behaviors, sprite begins. It will be placed in here. Change right to the brown fish and from behaviors again the behaviors are the green blocks okay it will grow we're going to select grow click run okay it will start growing for the pink fish we're going to set her behavior to swim right to left so sprite begins from here okay and we're going to add scroll down swimming left and right change the sprite to be pink fish okay and the same behavior will be for the silver one so from behavior sprite begins change the sprite to silver fish and behavior to be swimming left to right okay run okay. going to move him left to right behavior and from behaviors left to right and we're going to change the behavior of the pink fish from behaviors we're going to and select this one okay run
the crab didn't move we selected the sprite stops so he will stop swimming from the left to the right we need to change this one to sprite begins not stops so move this one here and move this here from behaviors we need sprite begins make it crab and change the behavior to be swimming left and right okay run run okay to add more interaction to our project we're going to use events what are events events are user action that will change the behavior of the sprite such as clicking the mouse uh, pressing uh, the arrows up down right left and so on to get more understand of the meaning of events watch the following video and we will be back Now that you've learned how to use Sprite Lab, you're going to want to make your program react when someone plays with it. To do that, you are going to use events. Blocks like when clicked and while touching are called event blocks. The code connected to an event block runs when the appropriate input, like a click or a tap, is detected. For example, if you attach this change size by block to the when alien one clicked event, the sprite will change size when the alien is clicked. Notice that event blocks don't snap into your main program. Instead, they create little programs of their own. Remember that even if the event only happens one time, behaviors will go until you tell them to stop. You can use a stops block if you don't want multiple events to combine behaviors. Using events, you can create imaginative programs and interactive worlds. Give it a try. To make it more interactive, we're gonna use select when touch, place it here. As mentioned in the video, the event block will not be sticking to any other blocks, so change the first sprite when the crab okay touches the brown fish okay what will happen mm, behavior the sprite or the brown fish will well from behaviors again it will shrink okay it will shrink place it here and from action we're going to change its color to red okay remove from color change color off here and again change the sprite to the brown fish okay so when the crab touches the brown fish the brown fish will start shrinking and the color will be red run 
Okay, she's growing. When the crab touches her, it starts to shrink and getting red. We're going to add a different event for the silver fish from events. Select when clicked, place it here, change the sprite to the silver event from actions we need a change to jump to random location so when we click a silver fish the hair location will be changed to any random place change the sprite here to be silver fish click run okay click here when we click the silver flash it will change here place okay now we need to add um, a sprite in the middle here when we click that sprite all the sprite will stop moving so we need to add a new sprite scroll up from sprites again click make a new and place it here search for any sprite that suits what do we need click more i'm going to add a um, diamond here okay select the diamond from here when we click the diamond so from event when clicked okay scroll down select the diamond from behaviors we're going to select stop stops everything and instead of the bunny we're gonna select the brown fish select again from behaviors stops everything and select the crab we're going to repeat the same action for the whole sprites we're having in our scene okay the same for Now we're done with adding the stop everything for the whole sprites we're having in the project. Click run to see what do we have. Okay. When we click the silver, it will okay change her place. Click the diamond. When we click the diamond, everything will stop moving, okay? For your assignments, you will be asked to create a scene using Sprite Lab. Choose any sprites you need, add any behavior for each sprite <clears throat> okay uh, then add events to make your
project more interactive or after creating your project you can access your project from here click my dashboard and click okay, <clears throat> click projects you can see a list of all the projects you created so you can create your project and then get back to the project for more edits and changes thanks for watching